Hello again. And in this video, we are on a, a small river called Walden Beck in Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, just outside the, uh, the village of West Burton. And uh, we are shooting behind me what is locally known as the Cauldron Falls. And it's a, clearly it's a waterfall on the, on the river, which is Walden Beck. Now, this looks like quite a dry location for a waterfall with lots of nice dry rocks, but I can tell you, it is possibly the most slippiest location I've been to in quite a while. Um, all these rocks, for some reason, even though they look dry, they're mega, mega slippy. So if you do come down here, be super careful. I've kind of built myself a bit of a platform to stand on out of just some loose rocks that I found over there. I'm still stood in the water, but these rocks are giving me a little bit of stability. Um, my camera, as you can see, is, is nicely planted into the, um, into the river, but I've actually put some rocks around the bottom of the tripod legs because it, it is very, very slippy here. Now, these waterfalls were actually um, first, not photographed, painted famously by, um, by a chap called William Turner, the artist, in 1816, all those years ago. 203 years later, here I'm still trying to take a, a very similar picture. Now, waterfalls can be, there's lots of interpretations of waterfalls, and what I'm going to try and do with this one is, because it's got this nice big pool in front of it, I'm going to try and capture that pool. I'm going to try and flatten that pool out a little bit so it's nice and flat and, and smooth, but at the same time, I'm going to try and get the reflection of the waterfall in that pool. And in the foreground, there, there's quite a shallow area here with, with lots of rocks in, uh, which is where I got these rocks from, to be fair, a few moments ago. Um, that's why I've also got wet feet. Um, and I'm going to try and get those rocks in at the start of the image to, to push back into the, into the reflection of the waterfall and then up to the waterfall. And hopefully at the top, there's a little tiny feeder waterfall I'll get that in as well. Even at this point, I'm starting to think about my composition and what the end picture is going to look like. So I've thought about the composition in terms of, of the rocks and the foreground, the midground, the background, all that kind of stuff. But I'm thinking because of, the, because of the size of this waterfall, I'm thinking it's going to be a square crop. A nice square image. Um, it might not turn out like that, but we'll, we'll see. Nice square crop. So. Let's go back to the camera and let's start thinking about how we're going to do this. So, as I say, the camera is, is set quite low. It's set quite low to get all these nice rocks in the foreground. We've then got the, the waterfall in the background and hopefully the, the, the reflection of that in the, in the mid-ground. I just saw a fish jump then. I don't know that you probably wouldn't see that on the camera. A little tiny one um, for a little midge. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Back to the camera. So the camera is on its tripod. Tripod really low. I've, I've, I've stood that over some rocks because it is in a flowing river and it is on slippery rocks itself. Um, I've got on the front a 70 to 24 f2.8 lens. Not a wide angle lens, um, a 70 to, to, uh, to 24 70, and it's set at about 50 mil. So, it, you know, it's not wide by any means. On the front of that, I've got a polarizer. And I'm putting about half the amount of polarization I could put on this, uh, on this image just so I get these rocks in the foreground. But I don't want to fully polarize it. I do want to see. Um, I don't want to see into the depths of the, uh, the river and see the, the, the rocks all the way through because I want that to be to slowly transition into reflection. On the front of that again, to slow things down a little bit to get that nice smooth milkiness, I've got a different filter again. So I've, in the past I've used a lot of leaf filters, the big stoppers, the little stoppers. This is a Firecrest filter, so 1.2. Um, I actually quite like this filter, it's a, it's a nice filter and um, it's just going to give me a couple of stops to work with. So what that's going to give me is an exposure of 30 seconds at f10. Now that's quite a long exposure, for me anyway. Well, I know other people do a lot longer. But that longer exposure is going to give me that really nice milkiness in the water, that smoothness on the surface of the water, sorry, that's, that's going to help us just get that reflection from the waterfall and, um, and hopefully get a nice picture. We'll see. Let's, let's take that picture. Now I'm using... I'm using my remote again, just to launch the camera. As I press the button there, the, camera, the camera's triggered. And the reason for that is I am stood precariously at the moment. I've got my feet kind of wedged between some rocks. My right foot's in the water. My left foot is just, just about in the water. I don't want to be leaning across more than I have to because, simply put, 
everything's a bit wobbly. Um, so I want to keep things as steady as possible, so I'm using this, this release. When I set the camera up a few moments ago, I was actually stood on these rocks here and knelt on these rocks. But if I did that, then you wouldn't be able to see me and the camera, so I'm kind of stood to the side a little bit. But that, that picture's taken now. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look and see how it's come out. Well, there we go. So we have got exactly what we said, uh, which is, which is uh, not too bad, actually. It's not a bad picture. Not the best picture I've ever taken. But we've got, we've got the, 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 the rocks in the foreground, we've got the reflection of the waterfalls, we've got the waterfalls, and then just at the top, we've got that little feeder that, uh, that we can just see going, going right in the top corner. So I'm quite happy with that picture. And uh, yeah, not, not a bad one. Not a great one, but not a bad one. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, um, please do the subscribe and all the other things you would do. And, uh, and we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.